After serving our country, one veteran is faced with a fear, the kind of fear he never felt in the military. He and his neighbors have been living in the dark for more than a year, thanks to burned out and damaged Detroit streetlights. So this vet called Bill Spencer and the Call for Action team. At 60 years old, all alone, and confined to a wheelchair with no legs, Don Hutch makes his way down Brush Street. In broad daylight, Don feels safe, but once the sun goes down, forget about it. There's no lights around here, and when it gets dark at night, it's pitch black dark. Now make no mistake, Hutch, as his friends call him, doesn't scare easy. You see, Hutch is a former Air Force sergeant who served two years fighting for this country in Vietnam. But right here in Detroit, at the intersection of Brush and Paquette Streets, Hutch says he feels like a robbery victim on wheels. Because in his neighborhood, Hutch says there are no working streetlights on Brush Street from the Ford Freeway all the way to West Grand, and on Paquette from Woodward to Bobian. And it's not just this one veteran. Here at Paquette Square, a brand new housing facility for homeless veterans, there are close to 150 Army, Marine, Navy, and Air Force vets who are forced to live with the same problem. There's women in the vets, there's elderly vets, there's other handicapped vets like myself. But it doesn't make no difference who it is. You know, it's just the fact that there's a building full of veterans here that shouldn't have to go through that. Oh, yeah. Hutch has complained many times to the Detroit Lighting Department. But now, Hutch is calling the Call for Action team for help. We've contacted Marie Brown with the Detroit Public Lighting Department, and just two days ago, I spoke to a representative from the mayor's office, and both are telling us the very same story, that there are tens of thousands of streetlights out all over the city of Detroit. It's a lot more than just burned out light bulbs. Many of these streetlights have been vandalized and broken. Many have had their inner wiring and electrical coils torn out and sold for scrap. And Mayor Dave Bing has just proposed a $160 million plan to fix every single street light in the city and create a public lighting authority. But the state senate will have to pass three separate lighting bills to make that happen. The main thing is just to get these lights on around here. They should have done this before this building even opened up. It's, it's extremely important. It's extremely important that they do this. It is incredibly important, and again, it affects people all over the city, not just these veterans, but no one should have to put up with this. As we said, the mayor has proposed a very, very ambitious plan to fix lights citywide, to finally fix this broken system, but he needs approval from the legislature to do it. If you've got a problem, call the Call for Action team at 248-827-3362, 248-827-3362. Again, we are working on this problem, so is the mayor's office. A lot of people will see how it turns out. It's going to take months, that's for sure. Yeah, our Channel 7 polls indicate the lighting problem in Detroit is like almost at the top of the list of the problems there, and they're dangerous, yeah. too. This guy's actually gotten robbed before because it's dark all over the place. He's been, he was uh, approached by a guy at night uh, who ran up on him. He's a wheelchair. He couldn't do anything. So, yeah, happened once already. Could happen again. Well, like you said, no one should have to face this problem, and especially the men and women who say, serve this country. You got it. Put their lives on the right, line Bill, every day. Absolutely. All right. Good luck with the big fight, and we're certainly on top of that. Yeah. Thank right, you, thanks. Bill.